and welcome to Admiral Zest. It's Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 147. So the June waffle may be done, um, but the kit still needs putting away. So I've had a little bit of a mess today with um, the logbook. So this is the Admiral Zest logbook. And I was having a look at sort of the best way to, to start using this. So I have left the first page um, after the title, just because I'm not sure if I want to go back and put any in that I've already completed. Still in a little bit of a gray area on that one. So I thought I'll leave that gap and then I can always add more pages in because they're removable. But I have set one up for winter tree. So I've printed these on my HP Sprocket little printer. Prints little sticker pictures, which is easy. So I've printed the image from the website and then I've printed the image of my completed one. So there is A, B's and stuff in there that isn't in the other. I have added some notes to say that I've completed it during my waffle and that I used glow-in-the-dark drills and that I also exchanged for A, B drills. I've put the size and the quality of the canvas, the drills and the quality of those. I haven't put the total number, but I might do the math on that later. Um, where I purchased it from, I haven't marked anything for customer service because I didn't need to contact them. Um, I've put in the time, the dates that I did it, and then I have put in some final thoughts. Oh, I haven't filled in enjoyment. So I think this is going to get a four star, I think, because... While I absolutely love the June Whip and Waffle, um, the fact that the drills were a bit small made it not as good. Time spent, I'm going to go with 30 days. I'm not going to do hours or minutes or anything like that. So the only thing I really need to fill in is total drills. I can't remember anything significant from delivery. Um, I did find out the date that it was delivered, um, so it was it was quite a quick delivery really, but I think that's what I'm going to put in there for now. I have got pictures in for my next one and I have started to put in some details for the custom comparisons, but I need to fill in some more of that. But I'm thinking I'm definitely going to do it for ones going forward. Um, but then I might have a look because things like, um, you know, how many colours and stuff might be a bit harder to find on past diamond paintings where I've cut off the legend and things like that. But I do need to sort out the diamonds, that's for sure. So this is the contain, this is the pack that had my glow in the dark drills in. This is the one that I was using for the AB. I then of course have the original diamonds and then I have the original diamonds for the ones that I swapped out the AB. I just pop them in the same bags that the ABs came in so that I've got the numbers. And then of course I have the actual diamonds themselves. So I think I might start with the specials slash the ABs and deal with those first. So in here, I do have multiple packs for the glow in the darks. And then I have my ABs, which I number with the MC. So let's pop the few ABs that I have left back into there because they're AB. 5200 in square. Let's take off the sticker. Then these are the glow in the darks, so let's pop those away. And then I think I might need to get 
my, ooh. Okay, this could be fun because some of them are stuck to the side of the tub. There, where's my funnel? Let's try that. Oh, I've got one stuck to me already. Oh, two stuck to me, obviously. Let's see if I can get them to, to knock them out. Get them out of that container. Couple that were sticking. And then because this is flexible, I might be able to get the rest to go in. Though some of them just don't want to move. Doesn't help that the weather is so muggy today. It is raining, but we've not quite cleared the air yet. Okay, in, get in. One more. We'll deal with you separately. Okay, so glow in the darks are back in, and I'm going to pop them there. Now the question is, where did I put my AB stickers? I'm pretty sure I put them in this folder. There they are. So these are the stickers I'm using for ABs. It's our list of DMC, but I'm using blue ones for AB. Whereas I use um, pink ones for my normal. So if I use this as a guide, I can go here and go, I've got my 208 sticker, which means I don't have 208 diamonds in here already. So I also need, how organised am I today? I also need some baggies. So let's pull those out. At least I know where they are, I suppose. That's one thing. And these are the extra thick bags that were gifted to me by Diana. Absolutely amazing. And I've been popping it on the opposite side of the bag in case I decide to put them in with my normal DMC numbers, which I'm not sure yet. This is quite full, this one, because we actually didn't need that many for the painting. But I was sent a big bag of each colour by Margaret, but they all fit in one bag. And for this, it's just going in purple. And I'm just going to put it to the back when it's a DMC number. And then we'll take the label off that one. If it will come up. What else was AB? 996 was AB. So next sheet. 996. So I don't have that one in square, which means I will need a bag. Pop the sticker on for that one. Used quite a few more of those. And I'll keep hold of that because I do have a few more blue ones to go in. So I can deal with all the blue ones together. Three, eight, four, six. Oh, I also have 820 as well which of course is on the other sheet. So let's deal with the 820. And then at least when I put the blue ones in, I can put them in in order. So I may yet move these to my normal. I'm not quite sure yet. But we've got 820. And then I need 3846, which is the first one on the last sheet. Pop that on there. Is that them all? I think it is. It's only been a few days since the June waffle finished, but I have been doing another diamond painting 
on an evening. I've been doing the mystery painting that was gifted to me by Margaret. In fact, the same person who gifted me these ABs. Um, I've been completing that painting. In between, just found a random glow in the dark, but I'm not going there. So I'm gonna pop these away because all the ABs are dealt with. So they can go back for if I ever get any more. And then they go in that order. I might have to scoop my purple over because I have a few blue ones here. So what do I have already? I have three already, seven, nine, six, then we'll pop in 820. Then I do have a 996, which is a completely different colour, um, but it is in round. So I'm going to put the square behind it and then we'll pop in 3846 and they can all sit in with my specials and my rhinestones. Job done. Now on to the normal ones. So I'm going to bring these over because these have got the plain diamonds in. And we'll start with 208 and we're in square. So I do have space for these. They're just in little ever moment bags because of course I needed to tip out what I had in the tub before I could empty the bag and tip in the ABs into the box. So what I decided to do was tip them into one of these little bags that come with an ever moment painting that I had. I, I have them sat in my little cart, but rather than write the number on and not be able to reuse the bag or limit how I can reuse the bag, I decided to just slip it inside the bag I took the diamonds out of. So 210, tip those in. Wasn't many purples in this painting, but there was a couple. 210, and I'll just keep removing the labels. I might just start sticking them in a pile. 300, oh, I don't have any 300 in square yet. So that's the first. And then I don't know if you guys remember when I kitted this painting up, but while D had 312 on the actual sticker, the actual diamond painting bags were 824. And they are very, very similar colors. So I'm gonna put that away in 824. And these are all mixed up now. I've obviously got them in a muddle. But we'll go for three, two, two. And again, this is another one that I didn't have in square before. But it's so much quicker putting them away now that I have a bag for every single colour of diamond, whether I've had that diamond yet or not. All the bags are prepped. Three, three, six. I don't have any. I have loads in round, but I don't have any in square. Pop those in two. I thought I didn't realise I had so many colours that I've not done in square before. Not that I'm objecting. I actually quite like building up my little colour stash. Oh, I've actually got 318 that's here as well. No wonder I could never find anything. I put them all in a different order. 318 is one that I've had before, but there is only a few in here, so I'm just gonna add them to the rest. There's no point in putting them as overflow of my spares. And these labels are coming off really nice. I don't even think I'm gonna to have to get my glue gun out to clean them up, which is awesome. Okay, four, three, four. Four, three, four, new color. 
lots of new and I am going to pop my painting away when I'm done um, I did wonder whether I was going to put it in a frame but I can't think of a perfect place for it so I am going to put it in my portfolio 435 oh do you know what these might be in my heaven and earth design can you tell I haven't de-kitted for how long I've just realised that when I don't have them, it may be because they're in my heaven and earth designs. And I didn't think to check whether I needed them for there. But everybody's shouting at me going, it's because it'll be in your heaven and earth designs. Yeah, 300 was. Okay, I'm going to stick with where I'm at because if they are in there, then if I need them for my heaven and earth designs, I'll find them. So where were we up to? 8.20 I think, 8.20 and 8.24, 7.99. So let's have a look. From 7.99, do I need any? 8.14, 8.23, 8.98, no, 9.02, no, 9.38, no, 9.39. I actually didn't have that in this one. And then the threes. So 3371, so that one can go in my Heaven and Earth designs, so we'll add that in here. Can't believe I completely forgot about this box. I think it's only the 300 that potentially could have gone in here, and there wasn't many of them anyway, to be fair. So it's not a big drama. Uh, 3787, 3799, that can go in here as well. And this box is not all of my Heaven and Earth design colours I need. All it is now, now I've had a revamp, is the colours that I need more of um, than what I already have in my little pots for my Heaven and Earth designs. Uh, 3865, we didn't have that. B5200, oh, we do. I'm going to cheat <laughs> and I'm just going to put those packets in there for B5200 and then I'll just open them when needed. Did I need 3846 or 996? No. Okay, resume as I was. Back to the original plan of just the boxes. Yeah, let's just deal with it this way. So seven is next, which is my next box. If I can get it back on the shelf. So these are my 700s to my 900s. And we have 799. Of course, why didn't I just look for the 800s? So there it is. It is pretty full. Am I going to fit? Is that going to fit in or not? Oh yeah, that still fits in. So we'll have them added in there. 799. Ooh. Make sure I can get all this sticker off because I really don't want to have to get my goo gone out now. I've said it. That one was a little bit stubborn, but I can use my finger to get most of that off. Now we've got 820. I knew I'd definitely have had some 820 at some point, though this 820 is a lot darker, but it's all going in. I keep the colours mixed whether they are the same or not. So 820 has a couple, because if I ever run out, you never know which shade of the 820 I'm going to have run out of. And then 824. You never know which shade the manufacturer is going to have used. So if I put them both in there, then I can pick which one I need. So I'll take that sticker off. And then the sticker that told me that it's really numbered 824. 
so that it's gone in the right place and it did match the 824 really well and then I'm going to pull out all the 900s so that I don't forget those and because they all seem to be in really weird different orders so nine five nine got quite a few of those as well but it is a gorgeous colour so I don't object I don't object to order lovely colours and I do have an overflow box um, that is diamonds that I can you know, share with others give away or use for our heaven and earth design canvases that I've not even looked into yet <laughs> Not even looked into what colours we need for those yet. But that will be on my list. 964. These boxes make it really easy for putting it away though. Should have lifted the card up to tell me where I was. Maybe I should remember to do that on the next one. 995. So if I lift it up a little bit, let's lift the card up, it tells me where it needs to go back. Which is a very wise move, especially when it's in the middle of the box or the middle of a row. So that's 995. It's getting very full that row. My spares are overflowing nearly. And then last but not least, 996. Now 996 is already full. So I'm rather than trying to fit what is a gazillion of them in there, I'm gonna put that in my extras extras, which I'll show you in a bit. And then I need to get my last spares box. And this is the 3000s, of which there are many. But I only have four that need to be put away this time. And that's the right order. So three, eight, four, four in the final row somewhere. There we go. Just remember to lift it up for this one because who wants to go trying to find that number again? I don't know why it is always harder to find the numbers when it comes to them being four digits instead of instead of three it always takes me a little bit longer to process it okay three eight four five looks like I've not had any of these in square so take that one off and then three eight four six which is this one in a bag so i'm going to get rid of the bag that the ab's came in because the numbers scribbled on it but for the ever moment bags that i used for the transfer process i'll put those back into my little cart I tend to like to use those you know if I'm doing a I use them primarily if I'm doing oh that earlier which that number was actually earlier if I'm doing the likes of a special diamond painting and you know I, I tend to when I'm doing a special diamond painting I tend to go by color so I'll open a bag and I'll do all of that color and then I'll move on to the next bag. So for that, I, I tend to just use an ever moment bag just to put the spare diamonds in until I can de-kit it. So that's all the diamonds away. That is well quicker. Let me wrestle with extra packing boxes for orders. And I have a very, very basic box this holds anything that is over and above what I have in my spares. So this is where I will initially go looking for the likes of my heaven and earth design. But also if there are people that need diamonds. 
So every now and then I'm going to go through the Got Diamonds UK. If anybody ever needs any, it's this box I gift from. So this is a 900 and it's 996, so it's right at the very end. And I already have a bag here for 996 squares, so I'm actually just going to combine it. Quite often, I don't mind if I've got more than one bag in here of a colour. Because if I am gifting somebody some, I may well not, you know, they may only need 20. So there's no point in sending them a bag that full for the sake of 20. But because that bag was not that full, I'll put it all together. And if somebody just needs 20, then I'll prepare it before posting. So that's back in there. And now I've got stuff all over the place when the boxes fell over. So they'll get put away. Storage doesn't need a clean. Bonus. Stickers all came off lovely off there. There we go, couldn't get it to shut. So now all I need to do is prepare my canvas. Where is my cardstock? Oh, there it is. It wasn't in the bag I was expecting it to be in. So I store any paintings that are not going up on the wall in one of my display books. Let me get the right one. So this is my portrait display book. This is um, one that's a true 30 by 40. I do tend to have to take a row or so off it. This is one of them that says it's a 30 by 40, but it's actually a little bit smaller. That was a very weird mystery painting. And then it's got some of my specials in there. Some of the other ones I've completed over the last few months. And this one's gonna go here. So first things first, I need to trim the edge off the canvas. I got all the information I needed for my logbook. For example, how many colours and all that sort of stuff. And I do have the benefit that I can go to past videos to potentially have a look at how many colours a canvas has. I just don't know if I'm ready to go back and try and document four years worth of time and painting in my logbook because I haven't particularly kept a log before. I do have a little bit of a log actually on an app, on the diamond painting app. And I know there's a similar one with Gems Flow. And I thought I was doing great with that, but it didn't end up sticking. I prefer pen and paper. So maybe I could go through that and see, but I just have visions of there still being so many diamond paintings in between that would need documenting. So for now, I'm going to stick with documenting paintings that I've done from around now onwards. Because some of that information can be tricky to find. I actually had to go and find the tracking number for this parcel to then find out when it was actually delivered to me because that's not always noted down so I had to go on a hunt for a tracking number to be able to say when it got delivered and I had to go hunting to find out when I ordered it and I can imagine for diamond paintings that I've had a lot longer than that, it would be a lot harder to find that information. Because tracking numbers do eventually get reused, which would make things even tougher. And I think that's the part that I'm not as keen on. If I had all the information that I needed for the logbook in one place, I would probably transfer it. But I don't. OK, 
Okay, let's see how this fits. So it is a little bit big. It needs two rows taking off. And I think I'm going to take them both off this side because that will actually... Uh, it's tit for tat. So from the edge of the tree here, there is five diamonds. And from the edge of the tree here, there's six. So it's going to be an odd number anyway. So let's go for one cut. And I'm just cutting straight down the middle of the row of diamonds. Now, if you're, you know, not liking this part, then you can either always store true 30 by 40 paintings in a bigger folio. Maybe get um, one that's A2. Or... I do have like an artist folder that is under my couch that I tend to put 40 by 50 type size paintings into and you could put it into there but for the sake of a 30 by 40 because one row either side of the diamond tends to get hidden by a frame so if you buy a frame that's a true 30 by 40 a, lick, a row or two gets hidden by the actual frame itself. So I would just put it into the frame, still on this black card, and you wouldn't be able to tell anyway, which is why I'm not so bothered. Next, I need to stick it on. Now I'm just using normal double-sided tape. It's a very fluffy canvas, this one. It did get five stars on my canvas quality because it's got that nice fluffy back and it had the nice edge around the canvas and all that sort of stuff. It's just the drills that didn't get as good a quality marking. So this is more just to hold it to stop it sliding if I pick the book up. I don't want the diamond paintings to then you know sink to the bottom of the pocket so I like to just put three bits of tape on then I line the painting up which on this one only really needs a bit at the top and a bit at the bottom on quite a few canvases I have to line it up in the middle as well and then I'm going to lift it up peel back and let that drop and this just helps to hold it in place, I say, just to stop it drooping. And I do put only one diamond painting on a piece of card. Um, and I will put the cards back to back in the binder. And the reason for that is if I do ever want to frame, I can just slide out this and put it in a frame without having a diamond painting stuck to the back. But look, that just, if I get hold of the card, that's not moving off there. It would move if I wanted it to because it is only double-sided tape in, you know, it's just like a, a very, it's a, it's a tissue tape. So it would come off if I wanted it to but I don't need it to. And there it is in my book. Some people do make little plaques, you know, or little tags to say where things have come from when they put them in these. And some of these 30 by 40s, you know, that then have the bigger edge for the canvas that are a bit smaller, do fit really nice in here, to be honest. But that is another painting, or at least, where's it gone? That painting, completed and um, I do have a link to both this folio and the cardstock on my website if you are interested so do go to addmorezest.com under our favorites you will find a link to the folio and the cardstock which I picked up from the range um, which is UK store this one's on a piece of card as well so I can actually switch out what's in the front and then, of course, that's also where you'll find the likes of the logbook at morezest.com. But one done. Let's see how it goes. I do have 
the, the next one that I need to de-kit at some point and I need to de-kit a custom. So there's a few de-kittings and kittings up coming over the next couple of weeks while I catch up with paintings that I started before June Waffle and I finished either during or just after. So I finished one custom while we were doing the June Waffle in my extra time. Wasn't many, but I didn't have a lot to do. And then since the June Waffle's finished, I finished the mystery painting from Margaret. And that's the picture I've just sort of hidden from you. So you will be able to see what that is. And of course, because I've finished those two, I've got new ones that need to be kitted up. Um, but yeah, that's, a, that's one painting away out of three. So I'm getting there. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.